as we start teaching with digital tools, and especially as we're doing remote learning, Google Slides is one of our best tools. And one of the things you might want to do is make a slides per student. But what if you want to update those slides? And what if you don't use Google Classroom? So I've coded alicekeeler.com slash pile of slides to do this for you. So you're going to go to alicekeeler.com slash pile of slides. I'm going to make a copy. Now you're going to need to wait for the code to load. Like anything that I have coded, you're going to need to wait at least a solid minute to let the code load on there and for the menus to show up. So when you get into the spreadsheet, there should be a menu right here and in the add-ons, and it's not there yet. So we're just going to wait. There it is, pile of slides, and it's also here under add-ons, pile of slides, and I'm going to authorize the add-on. Continue. Allow. Now it's very likely that you will get a warning screen that says return to safety and that no one at Google has reviewed the code. That is correct. I have not submitted this code to Google. You have made a copy, so actually you're just authorizing yourself access to the code that you now have. I am using Drive App. Drive App is blocked by some schools, so if this does not work on your school account, that might be why. It'll give you a list of, hey, it has permission to your Google Drive and your slides and these other things, but again, you're only giving yourself permission to your own files. So go ahead and authorize it. Once you've pasted your roster and you have the student email addresses, we're going to make slides. It's going to make a slides per student and it's going to share it with them with the email address that you put in the column. This way it will show up in their Google Drive. They can simply go to shared with me. So I'm going to click make slides over here in the sidebar. And if you just wait a second, you'll see that it is giving you a notification that it is indeed making the slides. I am making slides for 20 students, so you can imagine this might take a few seconds. That's okay. Go get a drink of water. Come back. Let's go ahead and take a look at Google Drive. In Google Drive, it should have a folder created just for have a folder created just for this. So it'll say slides for and whatever you named it. So it would be a good idea to rename your file so that when you create the folder, it doesn't call it slides for copy. And slides for copy of make a folder. You want it to be more meaningful. But you'll notice when I open this slides for, I have a slides for every student in the class. And so what you'll see is there's a slides per student. It puts their name in the slides title. And when I open the slides, it also puts their name on the first slide. Now these slides are blank. So you're probably going to want to push some slides into it. Now we could just be making a slides for each student. They edit it and you have access to their slides. So that's kind of nice. You don't need to have any learning management system. And on the spreadsheet, I have the link to each of their slides. So I can easily go to any student, find their slides, which has their name both in the title and on the slide itself. But if you want to push some slides, you can come down here to the push slides section and I'm going to set slides. So what I'm looking for is that I already have a Google Slides that I've created with slides that I want to push. So my master slide deck. And so I have these slides right here which is an activity of find the shaded area. And I'm gonna just set the URL. And is this the one I want? Are you wanting to use find the area? Yes, it is. Okay, so now that that's done, I can choose to send slides to the top or send slides to the bottom. So let's go ahead and send slides to the top. What slide number do I wanna push? So looking at all of these slides, I'm going to send slide five. It's going to look like this. And so I'm going to send slide five. And it's going to go through each of the students in the folder. 
and to update their slides. So again, you can notice that the is updating down here in this little pop-up, and it will take some time for the code to run through the entire list. So be a little patient, give the code a chance to go, and then go ahead and check to see if indeed the student slides are updated. Once it's done, you can go ahead and click on the slides link in the spreadsheet or just go to Google Drive and find the folder of slides. So I'm just gonna open this one and go to Jordan's and I can see that it has been pushed to the top. You do have the option, instead of sending them to the top, you could have sent them to the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do though is instead of sending one slide, I'm gonna send all the slides. It does take a pretty long time, but once they've all updated, you can go ahead and click on any student, open their slides, and you can see that I pushed the entire slide deck into each student's Google Slides.